Hi viewers, welcome to JSM. Now we are going to discuss about the kinetics involved in the adsorption. Okay, mainly the rate of adsorption. Okay, the mainly the rate of adsorption is depending on the activity of surface area. So how it is depending is rate of adsorption is directly proportional to the activity of surface area okay so in some cases what happens is there will be some kind of impurities okay there will be some kind of impurities let us consider these are impurities okay these are some impurities which are formed due to oxidation or reduction any other chemical processes it is formed okay so after preserving it for several days, what happens is several number of impurities are accumulated onto the surface of adsorbent. Okay, this is a adsorbent molecule. Okay, on this adsorbent substance, what happens is the impurities are going to get accumulated. By removing these impurities adsorbed onto the adsorbent, we can increase the activity of surface area. Indirectly, what we are doing? We are increasing the rate of adsorption. Okay. So, what is happening now? By removing the impurities present on the adsorbent molecule, we are increasing the rate of adsorption. Okay. This process of increasing the rate of adsorption is called as activation of adsorption. Okay. So, what is activation of adsorption now? Just by increasing the activity of surface area of adsorbent is called as activation of adsorbent. For better adsorption, we are doing this. For example, we use charcoal as adsorbent in case of many adsorbing processes. Okay, but we generally go through the term activated charcoal. What is that activated charcoal is? by heating the charcoal okay by heating the charcoal up to 300 to 1000 degrees centigrade what happens is the impurities present on the surface of charcoal are going to eliminate okay by eliminating that impurities from the charcoal we are creating a new type of charcoal called as activated charcoal okay activated charcoal Next, let us see what is the other process in which cases the activation of adsorbent is going to take place or the activity of surface area is going to increase. Okay, so if you see, we, we are going to use several number of metals as adsorbents. Okay, like nickel, platinum, palladium. So when you come to these metals, these metals are mainly used for adsorbing the gases okay for example in case of hydrogenation of oils the hydrogen gas is adsorbed onto this adsorbent metals okay generally these metals are present in the large quantity okay these metals are present in the form of large quantities okay so by breaking these metal into small particles okay by breaking this metal into small particles what happens is for example this is having only one surface area that is the number of sites for adsorption is less in this case it is having more surface area if the surface area of this is considered as 20 units here each surface area is approximately doubled so the surface area provided by these small particles of the metal is approximately 40 units that is for adsorption the site is going to be increased that is nothing but the activity of surface area is increased by this process also the rate of adsorption is going to increase okay so these are the two processes by which we are increasing the rate of adsorption okay that is activation of adsorbent or increasing the surface area of adsorbent thank you